find the values of t when the output vector of the vector divided function r of t is perpendicular to the output vector of the vector divided function r prime of t. Recall if two vectors are perpendicular, the dot product is equal to zero, which means to answer this question, which means to answer this question, we'll first determine the vector valued function r prime of t by differentiating each component of the vector valued function r of t with respect to t. Then we'll determine the dot product of the two vector valued functions set at equal to zero and solve for t. So to begin, we know the vector valued function r of t has an x component of 2t, a y component of 3t squared, and a z component of 5t squared minus 4. And now to find the vector valued function r prime of t, again we differentiate each component with respect to t. The derivative of 2t with respect to t is 2. The derivative of 3t squared with respect to t is 6t and the derivative of 5t squared minus 4 with respect to t is 10t. And now we'll determine the dot product of the vector valued function r of t and r prime of t. Set that equal to zero and solve for t. Recall to find the dot product, we sum the products of the x, y, and z components, which gives us 2t times 2 plus 3t squared times 6t plus the quantity 5t squared minus 4 times 10t. And again, we set this equal to zero and solve for t. Simplifying on the left, 2t times 2 is 4t plus 3t squared times 6t is 18t cubed plus distributing 10t, we have plus 50t cubed minus 40t equals zero. Combining like terms on the left, 18t cubed plus 50t cubed is 68t cubed, and 4t minus 40t simplifies to minus 36t. Let's see if we can solve the equation by factoring. Let's first factor out the greatest common factor of 4t, which gives us 4t times the quantity 17t squared minus nine equals zero. The product on the left is equal to zero when 4t equals zero, or when 17t squared minus nine is equal to zero. Solving 4t equals zero for t, we have t equals zero. To solve 17t squared minus nine equals zero, let's add nine to both sides, and then divide both sides by 17. Simplifying, we have t squared equals nine seventeenths. To solve for t, we take the square root of both sides of the equation. We are going to have a positive and negative solution. To get both solutions, we include a plus or minus on the right. Simplifying, we have t equals, well, the square root of nine seventeenths is equal to the square root of nine divided by the square root of 17, and the square root of nine is three, indicating t equals plus or minus three divided by square root 17. So the values of t for which the output vectors are trace vectors for the vector valued functions r of t and r prime of t are perpendicular or orthogonal are when t equals zero or when t equals plus or minus three divided by square root 17. Let's take a look at one of these values of t graphically. Let's consider the positive value of t of three divided by square root 17. The vector valued function r of t is the blue curve. The vector valued function r prime of t is the red line. And these blue vectors are the trace vectors when t is equal to three divided by square root 17. Notice the two trace vectors are perpendicular or orthogonal at the value of t equals three divided by square root 17. And the trace vectors would also be perpendicular at t equals zero as well as t equals negative three divided by square root 17. I hope you found this helpful.